Collective, collective. It's your girl, Spitch Sage again. Let's see if we can get some other energy out here. Please and thank you. Spirit, what's going on? Tell me what's going on. What's going on? My eyes are being drawn to this deck, so I'm going to use this deck right here. Somebody may have been through a lot. The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. It talks about trials and tribulations. Okay, this person's clothes is tattered and torn, but they still standing. There's a song by Monica. She's an artist, an R&B artist. She has a song titled Still Standing. I would suggest y'all go and listen to it. You might get a message, even a little bit of inspiration up out of it. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to take that out, that Nine of Wands energy. And so, you know, this could be just in your regular life or in a relationship or at your job, whatever. It, it wasn't for nothing. It may look as if there's nothing behind you, right? You see the grass is, uh, ain't nothing growing back there. So it may it may seem as if there's nothing back there, but I feel like you're getting ready to walk into something that's more on your vibration. Yeah. So with this Queen of Wands, I'm just getting like black girl magic. And I don't mean real magic, like doing spells and shit. It's just your energy. Okay, so let's keep going. Yeah. What's going on? Why is this nine of wands here? Something could have happened during the summer or started in the summer. Or right around the time where you wear long sleeves with shorts. So that could be like spring or even fall. If I do it. Hell, I'm doing it now. I got on a long sleeve hoodie and some shorts. Because that's what she got on. Long sleeve shirt and some shorts. So something could have started and or ended around that time. Take it how it's going to resonate. So you have the Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity. Now that, there's them damn uh, formulas right there. Okay. Maybe something was going around and around. Maybe someone's doing something with their eyes closed right here. But this is just truth and clarity. And I feel like it's the truth based on what I was getting off this nine of wands. This has caused someone to ascend. I see these stairs going higher. Someone has ascended. That's what I'm saying. Whatever you went through, it wasn't for nothing. There's a card in one of my decks. It's like everything that we go through brings us closer to our higher self. Whether it's to your, um, possibly to your purpose. Some of you guys could be stepping into your life purpose. But I feel like whatever it was that you went through, you see how long her damn neck is? You may have had to swallow a lot of pills, like just swallow. When I say pills, I mean like being the bigger person, biting the bullet. However y'all want to describe it, right? When situations arise, maybe it's like, you know what? I'm not even going to let that shit fuck with me today. And that takes a lot of self-control. All right. Maybe you didn't had it before. In going through this, you may have learned some lessons, but you definitely have grown and have ascended with these stairs right here. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so you have the four of cups to the chariot. Now, some of you guys could be dealing with the strength at the bottom of the deck. A Leo, a Cancer. Why is the four of cups is some type of missed opportunity? But that's not you. This is you. And I don't know who the hell this is. But this is someone else in this four of cups energy. Okay? I don't know why I keep picking up on this black and white thing, y'all. Take a house and resonate. Even the horse is black and white. So that, that could just mean two people with different... Um, outlooks on life or something. There's some type of difference here. With this woman in this nine of wands and some type of difference with this woman in this four of cups, okay? Now, this charity talks about moving forward, conquering something and being successful. All right, you got 10 of cups at the bottom of the deck. Let's not forget this strength card. All right, and this strength card, is, it's actually beautiful. It shows a woman who, she's half woman, half lion. Ooh, look at that seven swords behind it. Some of y'all could have had a couple doing something. And you got the full card. 
There could be something here with the color yellow. Maybe some of you guys work with crystals. She's holding an amethyst crystal. But what I'm getting off of that, you see how that energy right there? It's telling me that everything and every everything is right for your success. Whatever this word that you just went through with that energy right there, maybe you know how to transmute energy. Um, that came out a little bit yesterday where you could take a negative situation and spit out something positive, okay? Also, with the food, some of you guys are getting ready to take a leap into something. And this is this is having faith. Because, look, she don't know what's going to happen when she jump off that cliff, but she's doing it. So, you could be taking a, a, a leap, taking a chance on a person, place, or a thing. I feel like it's going to be successful with the chair right there. What else did Just the whole act of you having faith. You could have been led to this. You could have been led to do something. And it could be scary. Because that cliff is really high. And all you got to protect you is that amethyst crystal. The amethyst crystal could literally be your faith. Or something that you were shown. Something that you saw. So you was led here. There's rewards in being obedient. Because, you know, getting up on this cliff, it might look scary to somebody else. But you are the wounded warrior. Nine of Wands. So you can do this. Some of y'all, if the divine had told you what this was, you wouldn't have never did it. So it's certain things. There's a card in one of my decks that says, embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Because I'm picking, like I was getting earlier, this could be propelling you into your life's purpose. And... The most high know what we can handle and what we can't. If they show us everything, we'll stop. By the time some of y'all figured out what was really going on, you had already ascended. You had already went through something with this strength card right here. But I feel like you took that leap and you was obedient and did something. For others of you, this could be going on right now. You could get ready to take some type of leap. But just know the energy is right for your success with this. Okay, what else do you mean? There could be something here with some, look at that, Eight of Pentacles. So maybe this involves work. Maybe you were guided to, she's holding a candle. She, there's a lot going on. Maybe you were guided to start working with candles or maybe you were guided to write a book because you see all those pages right there or start working with herbs. Whatever you were guided to do. Do you see how the light is shining from behind this? This is the Eight of Pentacles now. Maybe you were guided to work on yourself. Whatever it was you was guided to do, it's going to be successful here. All right, so you got the Eight of Swords with the Two of Swords. What is this? Why am I getting wrong person with that? Because look, you got this person here. And you got this energy right here. I'm also picking up for some of you, something could appear... This could also be like mental, like a victim mentality, right? Woe is me. But what I was getting at first was the wrong person. This is two women. One of them is handcuffed and the other one is not. But this is the one that may have done some shit with this two of swords. Take it how it's going to resonate, y'all. You can even have somebody who uh, looks up to you. Yeah. Ten of Wands, and then Page of Swords. You can have somebody that's following you, watching, stalking, and or somebody could be learning from you because the Page of Swords could be a learn a student energy. Okay, you got this Ace of Wands. So I feel like this Ace of Wands with that passionate new idea. All right, you could have had this in a dream, a vision, a download. But I feel like this is linked to this fool and this eight of pentacles. You could be someone who has vivid dreams. What else do you mean? The sun. I'm telling you, baby. This, the sun is the best card in tarot. It speaks of happiness, abundance, illumination, growth, all that. I'm telling you on this ace of swords, I see an ascension. I see some type of growth here. After going through the most, you got the damn. Now, this is another person having to leave something. That's 
same person in the Four of Cups. But this is the same energy that's watching. They doing something with this book. It look like a big ass book of spell. That's what it look like. But y'all just. All right, you got the Four of Swords and the Ten of Cups. What else? It's gonna be someone's family. Six of Swords. I feel like you're gonna be guided away. If there was any cast of conflict going on, you're gonna be guided away. But this Six of Swords is also you listening to your intuition. Some of you may be moving. But I feel like if there was any kind of like if, if somebody was like a thorn in your side, that's about to be removed. All right, so now you got the eight of wands. This is a lot of communication. This could be a lot of messages. This could also be a watching online. But this is unstoppable forward movement. This nine of wands with the ten of wands, somebody was determined. Okay, and so six of pentacles. The right help always comes, and I like how it's depicted. You don't see any faces. You just, just see a giving and receiving here. So... Whatever this ace of wands, whatever this download, vision, or dream, this idea that you had, you take that leap and you follow it, somebody's, the right help will come. Even if it's words of wisdom or if it's actual physical help, whatever it is that you need, it will come. Six of Pentacles. Because I don't like this two of swords with the eight of swords. I don't like that at all. It's like somebody else is doing something and pointing the finger at somebody else or something like that. Five of Cups here. What else? The Five of Cups is pain and suffering with this moon card. Somebody could be drowning in their emotions. Yeah, and then look, this Five of Swords. I see somebody trying to do something, but somebody is too protected. Now, this energy right here, that's the same woman right here on this Nine of Wands. Somebody too damn pretty. And when I tell you they sent a lot of daggers your way, look at all them daggers pointed your way. Um, maybe somebody was trying to come for someone. For some of y'all, somebody was really trying to aid a source of person. For others of you, maybe it's just gossip. Maybe somebody's just talking about someone or trying to ruin somebody. With, but all these daggers that's coming at you, you're in this ball of protection. It's not fucking with you. And or you're not allowing it to. Cause like I'm getting. Especially with that nine of wands in the strength. Somebody's determined to move forward. Okay. So there could have been a masculine energy playing mind games. You could have grieved the situation, but decided, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm gonna pick myself up and move forward. The two of wands deciding. Some of y'all move way across the world. Child, look at this globe. You had to get away from whatever this energy was. It just could, for some of you, it could just be a Capricorn, but I feel like it was something toxic. Because look, this five of swords, this masculine energy here, whatever they was doing, it's like, you see how they got it on a puppet? Somebody's under someone's control. There could have been a masculine under another feminist control. It don't even matter, because like I said, man, whatever somebody did, Somebody is too fucking protected. And so the things that you went through, the scales about to be balanced out. And you're about to be um, going towards some type of success with the charity and the eight of wands. Yep, the star card. Some of y'all will even be known for this. Yeah, there's that hermit, that Virgo, that ascension that I feel like somebody went through. Maybe you were isolated. And there's even stairs here. You were able to ascend. You see all those mountains? Those are going to be obstacles. You were able to ascend through all of this. And I feel like you actually went through it. What they say in that movie, Finding Nemo, when they came to the trenches, them two mountains was the trenches, right? She told them to go through it and not over it. So I feel like you went through something and it caused some type of growth. And now you, I'm telling you, man, and you could have, it could have been scary with this food cart because I'm getting some type of a chance that somebody took. Guided to do something. It's all, I'm also picking up on my intuitiveness. You could have been guided to do something. Because what is intuition? 
It's the ability to know without having the facts to prove it. You could have been guided to do something and was no proof around you as to how it was going to turn out or if you should or not. And I'm telling you now, I feel like when you took that motherfucking leap, that shit about to pay off. You may have had some people over here trying to stop you, but them daggers coming at you, child. And the way she's posed, this is like, some of you guys could do yoga. It's giving, you know, if you stretch when you first start out, you're going to be rusty. And then you keep on doing it. After a while, you're able to do all kind of poses. This, it, it reminds me of a card in one of my decks. It's called flexible, being flexible. So this just calls you some growth. You had to go through that. Yeah. Maybe some of y'all had to kiss a couple frogs before you met the real one. Because I don't know what area of your life it's in. For some of y'all, it's at work. For others of you, it could even be a relationship. I do see another masculine and feminine energy over here who is not you. Okay. And there it go again. Mm. So let me pull another deck and see. Happy, happy, and treasure island. Just period. And you see that star right there that she holding? That's the star card. And I'm also getting the energy, y'all. Listen, something is powerful as fuck. I'm just trying to tell you. Y'all ain't, ain't listening. All of that is energy. Raw ass energy. On this fool card. All that right there. That's energy. Okay, and the same thing, that's what I'm getting. Some of y'all are able to pull y'all energy from that. Not everybody can tap in, but maybe you can tap it, pull your energy from that. You get ready, look at that, what's peeking through. Come through, spirit, milk and honey, that's ten of cups, ten of pentacles now. Because I don't know what you went through, but I feel like it was not for nothing. Yeah, go the distance. I said something was going to be successful. Some of y'all is almost at the finish line of something. <coughs> mm. oh, poise. Some of you could be on the platform, or there could be some. Every time I see these columns, I think of a court. Because them old ass columns be in front of them courthouses, don't they? There's just a, a, another star card right there. Right? Some of y'all are shining. All right, what else we need to see? They came out again, so that's confirmation. Milk and honey. Whatever this is, this is where you're headed. You'll be able to wallow around in the milk and honey. It, this was not for nothing. But some of y'all couldn't know exactly what it was or you wouldn't have done something. The creator know how much you can handle. So they don't show you a little bit. Go that little piece and then they might show you a little bit more. I told you life purpose. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Okay? You will have new ideas and inspirations. That's what that ace of wands. That's going to guide you to your divine calling. I was getting right here with this nine of wands. So, you know, whatever this is that you done been through, it caused an ascension. And it's pushing you towards your life purpose. And there it is right there, man. And so here's the thing, you know, what is meant for you will not leave as long as you continue to press forward. I was getting that determination out of that strength card. And look, ask for what you need and the things will align for you to carry out the vision. I was also getting that over. I said, man, everything is right for your success. Ask what you need. Ask for what you need. And it's going to come through. Six of Pentacles. Now, you may not see who does it. Because like I said, it could just be little words of inspiration. It could be... Uh, job offer, whatever the fuck it is that you need to do what you got to do, it gonna come through. It gonna come through now. Peacemaker. That was that swallowing. Remember earlier I was trying to explain that having to swallow them pesky situations could have came at you, but her neck long as fuck. Bro. I ain't never seen no I mean, I ain't talking about nobody, but damn, they need to let me get some. But anyway, that's what I was getting out there long neck, having to swallow a lot of pill. Like, you know what, man? I ain't finna let that shit bother me today. Huh? I ain't finna let it fuck with me. What else?
For some of you, this could have to do with your happiness. This could have to do with family or someone else's family. Uh, charity. Some of you guys could be getting into, I can't never say that word, philanthropy. I don't know. Y'all will correct me. But it says humanitarian work, human rights, justice, or advocacy work could be just right for you. Okay? And look, your luck. Anything you do now will be very prosperous for you. Because it wasn't for nothing. Whatever you went through was not for nothing. Getting ready to enter the most comfortable period of your life, child. And then I say, as a card in here, it says, embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Because spirit can't tell you everything. Fuck around and fuck up something. So, they just give you just a little bit. And you go that little ways. And then they give you a little bit more. And you go that little ways. And when it's time to know, you'll know. So, embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Okay? I like it, man. For real. Let's close this thing out. Spirit. Go for it. Uh-huh. Go for it. So, your, your prayers and positive expectations. That's another thing. Having the ability to have even just a little bit of optimism when you're going through certain things. Some people look at that and be like, oh, you gullible or you are a, a hopeless romantic or you just, that's wishful thinking. But no, nah, man, everything is energy, you know. And, and so if you you struggling, but you got your mind set on something else, because that way you see yourself, that shit works. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. And some of y'all are so, because uh, I see all this energy. It's so powerful. You have to be mindful of what you, you think and mindful of what you ask for because it comes. We, we're manifesting daily, every day, okay? And so we've been working with you on this situation since its genesis. We continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. And I'm also getting with this nine of wands. Not everybody can do whatever this is that you have came through. Yeah. What did it say? He give his uh, toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. This is a warrior right here, man. And that's why you were being so divinely guided and protected. Now, y'all know I feel like as above, so below. So if you're getting divine protection, you might be getting physical. It just depends on what you're going through. Yeah, look at that. I just spoke on the protection. You're working very closely with a powerful archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. You may have even had to be brave with all this purple right here. or Because when I look at purple, I think of bravery and I also think of intuitiveness. The darker the purple, the more intuitive. So, wow. Get ready, get ready. All right, that's what I have for y'all today. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet, both of them. Okay. And until next time. Bye.